Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Creative Tutorial. Today I'll be showing you a brand new advanced feature called the Dropping Item Dispenser. It's perfect as a new mechanism in the death run, but as always I love seeing how you guys come up with new ideas of using my mechanics. This tutorial consists out of two parts. To start off I'll show you guys how to push items off the spawn pads. Although it will look like they are just dropped, they are still attached to the item spawner, meaning that they still inherit all the settings you put on there. So things like respawn timer, random spawns, etc. still apply. And then the second part will be how to put this on a loop. So let's start. First off, build a wall with a platform attached to it. And on that platform, add your item spawner. Choose the item or items you want to spawn and drop them in there. Next up, We'll go back down and place a barrier that is located one tile behind and one tile under the item spawner. This barrier will need to cover the entire spawn area, including the floor. That's why it's important it's under the spawner and not just behind it. Change the settings of the barrier and make it at least two high so that the spawner is inside and set the width and depth to three. And that's it for pushing an item off its spawner. As easy as that. If we start now, we will see the item drops down. If we pick it up, a new one will spawn after the set amount of time of the item spawner configuration. If we want it to drop somewhere else, we just change the barrier height, width and depth and it will always fall off to the closest edge of the barrier. Now the next step we have to do is to constantly reset and drop a new item so that we can use it in a death run or puzzle. All we need to do is place a music sequencer somewhere outside of your playable zone. Go into the configuration and change the activate on game phase to game start and looping on infinite. So as soon as the game starts, this music sequence will start and always keep looping. Then add a trigger in it and change the when triggered transmit on to a free channel you have. Unless you've used any of my other mechanics, you'll most likely have all your channels free in the death run. Then fly back to your item spawner and change the cycle to next item when receiving to the same channel, so channel 1. And that's absolutely everything you have to do, guys. If the item cycle is too fast, just lower the speed of the music sequencer. If you want to implement this mechanic in the way that I implemented in my Spider-Man map, where you have to jump and catch it mid-air, make sure it's high enough up so that the user can grab it and use it before falling to his death. And that's it, guys. Let me know your original ways you came up with that you used this mechanic for. And let me know in a comment below what you would like to see next. More mechanics, maps, or would you guys like to see some more artistic guides like how to make a dragon, Godzilla, or houses and islands? Just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Stay tuned for more tutorials, guides, maps, and so much more awesome stuff. See you guys soon.